Did you ever try to levitate a magnet with the help of a bunch of other magnets? It seems very easy, just arrange the magnets so they repel each other. However, if you try these easy methods, you'll find they all do not work. In fact, back in 1842, British mathematician Samuel Earnshaw proved that it is in fact impossible to suspend a regular magnet in space with the sole help of other regular magnets statically placed around it. So, it is impossible to suspend a magnet in space using just a bunch of other magnets. But take a look at this. This is a magnet from speaker. This is another magnet. It's also a top. Let me spin it. Now, how is that possible? Well, let's talk about this and a few other loopholes in Herschel's theorem and actually build a few magnetic levitation devices. Earnshaw's theorem is only applicable to fixed magnets, but in this setup one magnet is actually moving, it is spinning and gyroscopic resistance force in combination with precession stabilizes the magnet. But enough theory, let's build one of these levitating tops. That's actually not difficult at all. All you need is two ceramic ring magnets, one large and one a bit smaller than the inner diameter of the large magnet, wooden dowel, bunch of non-magnetic washers, for instance made of brass or rubber, electric tape, plastic container to cover the large magnet, and a sheet of non-magnetic material. I use aluminum here. You can find exact parameters of all these materials on rtfms.com website, but you don't need to clone this exact setup. Many other combinations of magnets will work just as fine if you follow the instructions in this video. The smaller magnet I've got was inside a steel cup. In order to extract the magnet from the cup, I soaked it in a hot water for approximately 20 minutes. Then I used a flat screwdriver to pry and remove the magnet from the cup. Use the dowel to turn the small disc magnet into a top. If you are exactly following the specifications from rtfms.com, add the rubber washer to make its weight approximately 12 grams. You can secure everything together with an O-ring. While weighing the top, do not put it directly on scale. The scale may have metal parts that will attract magnet and make it seem heavier than it really is. Instead, put a non-magnetic spacer between the scale and the top. Now cover the big magnet with a container. Put the aluminum sheet on top and your setup is ready. Building this setup was easy, but now it's time for the hard part that will probably take you at least one or two hours. We need to tune the system. First of all, make sure the two magnets are oriented properly. Take the small magnet and approach the large one from top. If you initially feel nothing and then the small magnet like hits an invisible pillow, that's wrong and you need to turn the big magnet upside down. When oriented the right way, the big magnet should initially repel the small one and then pull it inside. Now cover the large magnet with a container, put the sheet on the container and try spinning the top on top of it. If it instantly flies away, it means you probably start spinning the top while keeping it too high from the big magnet. If you are unable to spin the top at all, you probably placed it too close to the large magnet. You also need to make sure that you are trying to spin the top right in the center of the large magnet, otherwise it will keep falling. Adjust the height of the plastic container so you can spin the top and make it stay spinning on top of the sheet laying on the plastic container. At the right height, the top will even stabilize itself. Once you got the top spinning on the sheet, try to lift the sheet slowly, maintaining level. If the top will suddenly take off and fly away at high speed, that means it is too light. You can make it heavier using brass, rubber or other washers made from a non-magnetic material. If you will notice that the top always flies away in the same direction, it means that the magnetic field of the large magnet is not perfectly level. Use washers to adjust the large magnet so that the top stops flying in the same direction. 
Keep adding weight and adjusting the level until the top stops flying at all and stays spinning on or near the sheet while you are moving it up and down. At this point, start removing the washers until the top flies away but slowly. You are close to the perfect balance. It's time for fine tuning. Use strips of electric tape to add weight to the top until it hovers in space instead of flying away or falling down. Electric tape is better than washers because you can use scissors and adjust its weight with tenth of gram precision. Once you have completed all this fine-tuning madness, it's time to call your friends quickly and amaze them. Do it quickly. The problem is that this effect is very unstable. Once the temperature in the room changes, you will need to redo fine-tuning. Humidity changed, same thing. Somebody put scissors nearby, adjust it again. Spin-stabilized magnetic levitation is that unstable. And this is the reason why it doesn't have any particular use besides amazing people. In the future episodes of RTFM's video blog, we'll build a bunch of more practical levitation devices. So subscribe to RTFM's channel and keep watching. See you later!